The interesting thing about closures in JavaScript is that they are no different from normal functions. That's right, all functions in JavaScript are closures. But what are closures? To put it simply, a closure closes around the scope of its parents. That means that the closure scope automatically contains everything from its parent. To understand what that means, we first need to talk about variable scope. Let's look at a different language first, PHP. PHP has two main variable scopes, global scope and function scope. The default scope is the one that you are currently operating in. So if we assign a variable inside of a function, the variable is set inside the function's scope. If we wanted that variable to be in the global scope, we would need to declare that as our intention. So in PHP, when we declare a closure, we need to explicitly tell PHP which variables to import from the parent scope. The important thing to note here is that the variables are imported. The variables are actually copied into the closure scope. Therefore, in PHP, each scope is completely independent from every other scope. And the only way to tie two scopes together is to use variable references. JavaScript, on the other hand, uses nested scopes. The scopes nest based on where they are defined. So if we define a closure within another function, the closure scope will be nested inside that function scope. That means that variable access traverses up the chain of scopes until it finds the correct scope that the variable was defined in. Therefore, all functions which are defined inside of another function scope are always closures, even if they are named functions. And considering that the root scope is the global scope, all functions are nested inside of the global scope. Therefore, all functions in JavaScript are automatically closures. So to close out, let's look at a piece of code and track the variables through it. The interesting thing here is that we need to declare a variable with the var keyword in order for it to be defined in the current function scope. Otherwise, when we access a variable without the var keyword, we're accessing the parent's variable. 